Well, hello everybody. I'm back, and if anybody knows what this thing is, it's my camera. It's finally back. Actually, it, I got it back much faster than I ever thought I would get it back. The fan went on it recently, and I had to send it back to uh, ZWO. So, anyways, I'm very happy I got it back again. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how it's, it sits on the telescope. Since uh, when I first got this, I did not have my new telescope. I had my old telescope, and I just sort of slapped it together. I put the camera onto the filter wheel and used this extender and put it into my compression ring on the old telescope and started taking pictures, and it worked fine. The field was a little sketchy around the edges, but that's how it always was with the old camera. I just it wasn't a, There was no field flatness, so I didn't really think anything of it. Got the new telescope. Took the whole apparatus out, put it on a new telescope with the field flattener, and took my first images, and they were not what I expected. The center was fine, but the outer corners were horrible. They were even they were much worse than they ever were uh, as far as uh, roundness of stars. They, they, the stars were very oblong, so I was sort of depressed, to say the least. And I took everything off and started uh, reading directions. That's what you do when something fails. You finally read the directions. Anyways, I discovered it has to be 55 millimeters away from the sensor. That is, the field flattener has to be 55 millimeters away from the sensor. Exactly. So, having said that, I put it together with all these extensions that I had. I, was, I always wondered why they gave you so many of these extenders and whatnot, and now I know. And I put it together in some way and got it 55 millimeters. Actually, it was 56 millimeters away, but that was good enough. And I took my first images, and it was it turned out it was really, really good. Uh, I did do something not quite right. Uh, that is, I had the the electronic filter wheel in the opposite directions, and when I put it together, I um, I, I got it 55 millimeters away or 56 millimeters away, but it wasn't what ASI recommends the way to do it. Anyways, when the the camera the fan went and i took it all apart again i read the directions again while it was being sent away because i thought i might buy some more extenders and that's when i discovered the filter wheel should be in this direction and let me put the whole thing together and put the whole thing together like it's properly supposed to be so i'll take the uh stuff off the filter wheel i'll take the camera and take this little protector ring and what you're going to, want to do is you want to put the camera right up onto the filter wheel. Snug it right up there. Good. All right. And so where it says EFW, electronic filter wheel, that's the side you want the camera connected to. Then what they recommend is they want you to take this, this thing, which is a uh, M42, M42 male to male two millimeter extension that goes on the end of the filter wheel they just screw right in okay then they say take the 11 millimeter uh, here's what the 11 millimeter uh, extension they want to take the 11 millimeter extension which was attached to the camera when i first unpacked it that goes on next. Make sure you're not stripping the threads or anything. Okay. Then what they recommend is you want to take the 16.5 millimeter extension, and that goes on to the 11 millimeter extension. Okay. And that's it. That is 55 mil 56 millimeters away from the sensor. The sensor sits back into the um, into the camera. I believe it was what was it 6.5 millimeters into the into the camera. So if you're trying to do your measuring, I had some calipers out and I was measuring all this when I was when I was doing it. And the last thing is uh, this right here. The the edge of this um, this 16.5 millimeter extension that's actually 48 millimeters so you got to take this other ring that that they give you and put that onto the field flattener to demonstrate I'll I'll use this thing this is my focal reducer 
uh, which has the same threads as the field flattener. So you just take that these threads here and stick them onto your field flattener. I'm just doing it to this folk rotor, so just to show you what I mean. You know, that screws right on. Whoops, yeah, it screws right on right. Sure, Mr. that. Um, helps if you do it the right way. Okay. There we go. So that just threads on to your field flattener. It also works to this folk reducer too. And then what you would do is you would thread this um, this whole thing onto here and it would just all screw in together. All right. Now this would be attached to the telescope. The, the, the field flattener that comes with the uh, my new telescope, this it has some threads on here that threads right into the into the um, the focuser. So this whole thing is threaded right up, which is a big improvement. So I am very happy with that. Anyways, that's all I have for you. I just wanted to show you how this thing uh, goes together. Since it's off right now, I'll be putting it back together again soon enough and uh, imaging again with the uh, with my monochrome camera. I apologize for any tongue twisting. I did this whole thing in one shot. But, uh, okay, well, clear skies, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.